It just feels like whatever this is for you specifically, it feels like this is you having a sense of stability within yourself to look at some sort of situation and recognize the pattern, recognize how things may not be working in your favor, or recognize how something needs to change. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Happy Monday, I hope you all had a good weekend and I hope you all have a good week ahead, yes? So this is going to be your general daily energy reading, yes? So please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, depending on the situation, the roles can be reversed, yes? So place it, fit it into your life as it fits naturally. Do not try and fit anything that doesn't fit naturally, yeah? Um, also, this is a timeless reading, yes? So whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. If you are looking for more readings or maybe something else that may resonate with you, I highly recommend that you check out the morning coffee playlist. I'll post it right up here for you guys. Um, when going through that playlist, please keep in mind that uh, <clears throat> all of the readings are timeless, so really don't focus on the date, especially if you go back far enough. Um, there was a period in time where, where when I first started doing morning coffee, I was dating them, but I'm not doing that anymore. So when you're going through that playlist, if you're looking for some more guidance or some more information, just make sure to uh, focus more on the title of the reading rather than the date, yes, because the title is going to give you a deeper understanding or a better idea of as to whether or not the reading will resonate with you, yes? Um, one more thing, so I do have merch, yay, yay, however, I'm in, uh, right now, <clears throat> there's a little bit of a hiccup because um, the URL that I was given by Shopify um, is not considered to be safe enough by YouTube. So when I put the link here, like if I put it in the description box or something, and you click on it, it won't allow you to get to the shop. So because of that, I need to get a, ironically, ironic enough, I gotta spend more money and buy an extra URL, which is fine. I'm not complaining about it because there's really no point in complaining about it, but I have to do that. And I haven't done that yet because I'm still working on getting some other finances settled and done to make sure that I know what I have to work with moving forward. So, because <laughs> it is tax season. So anyway, um, so because of that, I the, the, the URL is still listed in the description box if you guys would like to get some official uh, Divine Conversations merchandise, such as your official morning coffee mug, uh, if, a face mask if you like, and some t-shirts so far. There's going to be more to come in the future, but if you'd like to get your hands on any of that right now, go ahead and take that URL that you find in the description box, copy and paste it into a web browser, and it should be able to work that way, yes? Two people did get some of their own, some of their merch over the weekend. Um, I got that settled and that should be confirmed and should be on the way in the process to you guys right now, yeah? But um, if you are interested in that, uh, I highly recommend that you check it out. Again, just copy and paste that URL into your web browser. Don't try to click it from the, and I'm actually, I'm not, I don't even think I'm gonna put it in there so that, um, you can click it, but if you click it from the description box here, it's not going to work. So copy and paste it into your, your, your into the web browser, and it should be able to work that way. Yes? All right, y'all. Um, let's get into this. So for today's reading, I'm going with the True Heart Intuitive Tarot again. That's our main deck. And then for Oracle Guidance, I was going to use the Los Carabello deck, but that one is in my car because I was doing some readings for some friends last night. So instead, we're going to go with the Golden Art Nouveau for clarification. Yeah. And then, of course, as usual, we will cross the Oracle Guidance Bridge when we get there. Yes. All right, kids, let's get into today's reading and see what we've got for the collective. Here we go.
high spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and, clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these circumstances, situations, situationships, and relationships and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All righty, kids, let's get into this. Hold on, sipping some coffee here. Mm. Oof, okay. Five shuffles here. One. One. All right, kids. What have we got going on today? This is two. What do we want to talk about for the collective today, please, Spirit? This is three best messages for the collective at this time. General reading, so we could be talking about anything, yeah? This is four. And this is five. All right, y'all. Please excuse the sniffles. Here we go. What's going on today? What do we want to talk about at this moment, Spirit? Take it. Okay. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Two of Cups. Okay. Um, we could be talking about a relationship with that Two of Cups there. Just a moment, please. I'm gonna be honest with you, this energy is a little bit confusing. <laughs> I seem to be saying that a lot lately. Uh, Anyway, um, what's confusing about it to me is this Two of Swords that's here. And this was one of the first cards that came out. But then also with that, you have the Four of Wands. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Yes, the Seven of Pentacles or the Seven of Discs. You have Strength. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, all of these cards could be a good thing. I guess. However, the one thing that's throwing a wrench in the system for me is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords. And then you also have the Six of Swords here. So, yeah, this is a bit confusing, you guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's just talk through it, though. What I'm feeling, what I'm experiencing here is wondering whether someone is ending a cycle or whether someone is continuing a cycle. Now, what I am seeing with this Two of Swords, there is a bit of denial here. However, a denial or a blockage. However, what this could really mean, okay. Okay, 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 there it goes. So the Two of Swords is not, in this situation, does not represent denial. Here, the Two of Swords represents closing yourself off to the external version of how things may look or how things may seem and going within and honoring your own intuition, honoring yourself. This could be a relationship. This also could just be your relationship with yourself with this Two of Cups energy, okay? Again, general reading, so take it as it resonates. However, the strongest thing that I'm feeling now, it's all, now it's coming through. The strongest thing that I'm feeling now is actually this does represent your relationship with yourself. There seems to be a bond here. There's, uh, there seems to be a bond here that you found with yourself, the balance between the masculine and the feminine, potentially, or just having a, 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 having a solid relationship with yourself, having a good understanding about who you are or what it is that you want, or, or at least how it is you feel in this circumstance or in this situation for you. So this Two of Swords energy is that energy of you finding mental balance and finding 
peace and harmony within yourself and allowing that to guide you in terms of what it is that it seems that you may have this have maybe having the strength to having the strength to end this, uh, to end some sort of cycle or to change some sort of cycle that's been going on now continuing um it does feel like you're moving forward somehow you do have this six of swords here moving from rough waters to calmer waters and i just feel like somebody here is making a conscious decision to i'm hearing i just heard end a cycle or reach a goal in their lives so this could be you finally coming to a state of understanding, or a state of balance, internal union. You do have this four of wands. This could also represent a creative foundation that is allowing you or influencing you or pushing you to start a creative endeavor here. It just feels like whatever this is for you specifically, it feels like this is you having a sense of stability within yourself to look at some sort of situation and recognize the pattern, recognize how things may not be working in your favor, or recognize how um, something needs to change. The Seven of Pentacles often represents uh, Einstein's definition of insanity, in my opinion, in terms of doing something the same way over and over and over again, but expecting a different result. And what's interesting about this deck is in the Seven of Pentacles, the woman here, let's try and see if we can get this to focus, but the woman is pregnant here, okay? So it feels like there may be something new coming online. It feels like there's something new being birthed here. A new idea, a new realization, a new understanding is coming online. And it does, it kind of feels like with all of these, these stone heads here, it almost feels like she's cleaning all of this up. She's cleaning up past circumstances in order to make way for something new that is that is being birthed into reality. Okay, you have that with the, with strength and the wheel of fortune. To me, this is saying having the strength to end the toxic cycle potentially or having the strength to move forward somehow. What this feels like right now is um, at, 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 depending on however it is you're reacting or responding to this situation, it feels like strength with the Wheel of Fortune is representing having the strength to look at the situation or the cycle as it truly is and to make an executive decision. It feels like in this situation, you may have better control or, uh, yeah, better control over your ego. Um, and it may be your ego that has kept you in this situation before you know, kept you cycling through this situation, but now some, but now that has changed. Interesting. Yeah, something in this situation has changed and I can't tell if it's you or if it's the circumstance. However, as I was speaking through that, I, I, I did see the Wheel of Fortune in my head again, so I feel like it it may, it may, quite frankly, it may be the circumstance, the situation itself that has changed. And I feel like if that's the case for you, you have been sitting here observing the situation, watching it very closely, watching it evolve, watching it change. And I just heard you're no longer, and, and, and maybe that's, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to specifically ask what has changed here, but I'm just feeling through it right now. And maybe this could have been, hi, Ryan. What's up, Ryan? Really? Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so I feel like. You, you or whomever this resonates for, you may have been in a really stoic energy or in an energy of just keeping to yourself, um, holding yourself back and just observing and just watching 
watching the cycle happen, watching the cycle move, watching things change, watching things grow and evolve over time. However, I don't feel like things moved in a desirable, desirable way for you. Something happened here that basically closed you off or caused you to close yourself off and caused you to say, all right, look, I can't, I can't focus on this situation from a point of view of what's going on externally. I need to focus on this in terms of how I truly feel inside. What does my bond with myself say about this situation and about how do I move, how I want to move forward? And it, it, it may have gotten to the point where it was just like the final straw. And I really do feel for pretty strongly that somebody here recognized that something was not as it seemed on the surface and finally decided for themselves that they could not wait any longer or they could not allow the external circumstances to influence or to dictate how they proceed with this situation. I, and, and then with this Four of Wands, I feel like somebody here has, is solid enough within themselves to recognize and make, an, make a decision on how they want to move forward. Whether you want to stay in this situation any longer or whether you want to leave it all together or whether you, whether you um, could identify things that could be tweaked and fixed. That might have been the process as you were moving through it. But again, I feel like at this point, there really isn't anything to fix. Or maybe you don't see it that way. What changed here, Spirit? What changed in this situation? Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck now. So you you received some sort of information. Um, yeah. Your perspective changed. The Hanged Man to the Three of Wands. So something about this told you that... It, <sighs> what I'm feeling here is that Something happened in the situation, something switched up, something changed, and your perspective changed. There is some sort of enlightenment that came through here that basically said that, that, that put into perspective the path that you're moving forward towards, or at least moving forward on, or put something into perspective in terms of what it is you want to achieve, or the, just like the direction that you're moving in in your life. Somebody here finally got the realization that something that they were associating with, something that they were doing, maybe a relationship that they were a part of or they were involved with, um, a business. And this literally could be anything, you guys. But ultimately, the point is that somebody received the aha moment or the, the truth or maybe even the information that they needed in terms of this situation, but also in terms of the, the, the direction that you're moving in, the three of, three of Wands. The Three of Wands represents your path moving forward. So your eight, the Ace of Wands is the inspiration to try something new. The Two of Wands is the choice to of how you want to execute it, how you want to move forward with it, whether you want to move forward with it or not. The Three of Wands is coming to a place of having generated some sort of momentum already, waiting for a return on an investment, and also continuing to generate that momentum so that you can keep moving down your path in the long run, right? But in terms of that path, in terms of how you're moving forward here, there was some sort of change in perspective. Someone finally got the point or finally got the understanding that they need from this, which helped them say whether they want to stay in a, in a certain relationship or a certain circumstance or not. But that is because of an understanding of where they're going in their journey or how this situation or circumstance aligned with the path that they've been walking all along. That's what changed here. 
So it feels like maybe you waited it out a little bit. Maybe you were sitting in the situation. Again, I felt like somebody was just sitting here holding themselves back in a sense and just watching the situation develop. And eventually it got to a point where somebody realized something about the relationship that I guess was not all that acceptable. And now someone is facing and maybe you haven't decided how you want to move forward yet, how you want to proceed, but someone is facing is facing the question, how do I alleviate some of this stress or how do I make this a little bit easier on myself? And you're and whether you've decided on this or not, you're not focused on the external reality any longer. Okay, that two of swords energy, that two of swords with the, with the, with the blindfold here, right? Not looking at it from an external point of view, seeing it from the inside is what I just heard. Okay, um, I want to pull one more time and I just, I want to, I guess I want to see, my question here is how is this progressing? Like, what is it? How does it look like, or what does it look like in terms of the, the progression so far? This is not anything set in stone. Obviously, nothing is set in stone here. I just want to look at the current energies and how, and where this seems to be going, yeah? So, where is the situation today? Okay. King of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. And the first card that's come out here is the Emperor. There are two other cards that have come out with this as well. It's the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, so the first thing that I, uh, that I um, picked up on, especially when the Emperor came out, was, yes, you may have a hard decision to make, but it's an executive decision. Like you are, the one thing I wanted to say to you in terms of this is ultimately the choice is yours. And then like the power is in your hands. You are the master manifester. You are the CEO of your life, okay? So no one really has the ability to tell you what you can or cannot do. I mean, they have the ability, but it doesn't mean that they have the right. You know what I mean? Like, you're still in control of your life. The thing about this is that someone may be facing um, a lack of, lo not a lack of loyalty. But I think what may be making this decision hard for you to make right now is a sense of, maybe leaving something or someone behind and official and, and potentially being seen as abandoning something. However, and, and I'm getting that from the sense that the king, the, the emperor here is all, like when he's positively balanced or positively aspected, um, he is very commitment oriented, like he's committed. Okay. But then with this king of wands at the bottom of the deck, what I'm getting with that is not allowing anyone to tell you when you can, what you can or cannot do. Having the confidence in yourself to go forward with what it is that you want. And that can seem selfish. It can. But that's not the message that I'm getting here. Follow your intuition. Follow your higher guidance. Follow what it is you're really feeling about this situation. And with the Emperor, you do have the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords in reverse. And I'm kind of getting this feeling now the Ten of Pentacles also can represent commitment because the Ten of Pentacles is an energy of being in something for the long haul, working towards something for an extended amount of time. But that's in reverse. And I feel like somebody does not want to work towards something any longer. Now, somebody doesn't want to continue to put their time and their effort and their energy into something any longer. And they're getting tripped up by it with this Nine of Swords energy, which 
it, it, it seems, it feels like somebody is here making a, trying to make a decision whether to walk away from something or not, or trying to understand how they alleviate some sort of stress here. Six of Swords, moving from rough waters to calmer waters. And that doesn't necessarily, this Six of Swords isn't necessarily talking about completely walking away from something. It feels, mostly it feels like just how do I alleviate some of the stress? How do I move from rough waters to calmer waters? And it feels like in order to do that, you're going to have to remove some, if not all, of your involvement in the situation. And there's the lack of loyalty that's coming up from this decision that could be made because it really does feel like somebody does not want to continue putting the effort in. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, but that's tripping them up. Nine of Swords. There's some sort of fear that's getting involved with that, that ultimately is unfounded, is what I want to say. Because what I want to say is you've been loyal enough at this point, loyal to a fault even. And that's why this King of Wands energy is coming through saying, no, number one, I'm hearing believe in yourself, trust yourself, but also make your own decisions. I also just heard honor your inner vision. Okay. I want to stop there. I want to leave it there at that point. And I want to get into clarification here. And the main things I want to clarify are this Emperor, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords energy. And then also it, would, it feels like it would be beneficial to talk about the Three of Wands and the Hanged Man energy. And from there we'll see if there's anything else we want to talk about or what, anything else we need to clarify. Yeah. Okay. Okay, kids, so let's get into this. Five shuffles here, yeah? One. And actually, I want to start with the Hanged Man and the Three of Wands. This is two. Oh. Three. So let's talk about this first. Three of Wands and the Hanged Man. Because this is the moment that things changed, or at least the moment that you saw things differently in terms of the path that you want to continue moving on. What this feels like is somebody was on a path or chose to go down a path or chose to go in a certain direction, and then they had been moving down the path for a certain amount of time, only to only for enlightenment to strike in some way for you to for them to see circumstances of this path differently and now it feels like you're trying to readjust so that you stay on the path on this path moving in this direction moving towards whatever it is you're moving towards in the most optimal way this also kind of feels like for some of you here this is pretty specific but what's coming through now is it feels like some of you are recognizing how certain people that have been walking this path with you are not ideal or are not really contributing to the path or to the, the the manifestation or what it is you are trying to create they're not really contributing the way that quite frankly the way that you would want them to but that's not a bad thing because ultimately i feel like this is your vision somehow and maybe you all share this vision in some way, and yet you are starting to see it differently. It's starting to develop differently for you. This doesn't have to be an anim it doesn't have to be full of animosity or anything like that. It doesn't. I mean, maybe it does, but it doesn't. Just keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be a thing where, like, now you're fighting with people. Ah, fuck you. Then this, that, and the third. No, it doesn't have to be like that. But the vision is changing. It's evolving within you in a different way than it seems to be evolving externally in terms of other people that are involved, if there are other people involved. That's a little, maybe that's that's for a specific 
group of people or a specific person or something like that, but that just came through, so I wanted to say it. But let's talk about this. Three of Wands and the Hanged Man. Some clarity on that, please, Spirit. Because this is what has changed, right? This is what changed within you to see the situation, the circumstance differently. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, I want to get more coffee. Hold okay, so this really could be a group effort type of situation. This could be a group project that you may have been working on. Or at least somehow there were other people involved with this situation for you. This also could be a relationship in terms of like a marriage or something, just because of what's come out here specifically. Now, what you have at the bottom of the deck, so we're talking about what's changed, right? At the bottom of the deck, you do have justice. Underneath justice is the moon and the queen of swords, okay? There was some sort of deception here, unfortunately. Um, and that's coming through with the moon. Okay, but I feel like what the moon is representing is the revelation of something that wasn't quite right or wasn't quite in alignment. You have that with the fool and the king of pentacles and then the queen of pentacles, but the queen of pentacles is in reverse. And when the queen of pentacles came out, she fell out here on the emperor, the nine of swords and the ten of pentacles. We're going to look into this next, but... um. What it seems is, has happened here is, this is a situation in which, again, this could be a marriage. This could have been a marriage or maybe a romantic relationship because you do have the king and the queen of pentacles. And they are the husband and wife archetype, okay? Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so this could be resonating for a bunch of people in many different ways, okay? But it doesn't have to be a marriage. It could have just been a business partnership of some sort or just some sort of endeavor in which you were working with other people in some capacity. But somebody here was trying to control things too much, was being too dominant. And what I'm getting here is it seems like somebody was taking all of the, taking all of the glory, taking all of the clout, maybe taking all of the ideas. And it, it, this could be, this could be very specific, but it also feels like in some way, somebody may have been taking everyone else's ideas for their own and like taking all the credit for everything. Somehow, some way, there was not an equal balance between the partners here. Somebody felt like they were being undervalued. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Whomever is represented by the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you're the one that's facing making the executive decision to take a leap of faith. And to, to, to maybe even go about this on your own. Like completely on your own, separating yourself from the group situation and continuing on your path with this vision in your mind, but not with this same person or maybe not with the same group of people. But whomever this is, this queen of pentacles, she's out of here. She's done. She's turned her back. She's turned her back on the situation or she's facing the advent or the, the possibility of turning her back on the situation because this guy has been too selfish. Whomever is represented by the King of Pentacles here, this person has been too selfish, too egotistical, not really showing up the way he needs to in terms of this being a team effort. And this person that's represented by the Queen of Pentacles feels undervalued and thus they're taking a leap of faith and moving in, the dif in a different direction. And quite frankly, that is justified. Okay. Now, let's talk about that because now it, it, it's interesting that the Queen of Pentacles fell out on the Emperor with the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords in reverse, because it does feel like somebody is facing a loyalty issue. And maybe that's what the other person or the other people in this situation are trying to accuse you of, not being loyal. But quite frankly, this situation, whatever is changing about this situation is in fact justified. So let's talk about this because this is the main concern here. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Swords in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to invest in this any longer someone doesn't want to be a part of this any longer and they maybe they're getting caught up in the fear of it of not let of letting go of the situation and maybe not 
Maybe this Nine of Swords is actually you being like, I'm not, fuck this. I'm not afraid of this any longer. I'm making the executive decision. This has hurt me. And I'm not, I, I, and I'm not allow, I'm not allowing it to do that again. All right. So what is this spirit? The Emperor, six, uh, Nine of Swords in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Just some clarity here, please, spirit. Trust your intuition. Trust your heart. Nine of Swords in reverse, Ten of Pentacles, yeah. That's it now. Six of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. You have Temperance here. You have Temperance, the Ten of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune, but the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. Stepping off the karmic hamster wheel, okay. I just feel like whatever decision that you're making here, first of all, the, the cycle is, you're facing ending the cycle. But quite frankly, the reason why the justification for ending this cycle is greater peace and harmony and balance in your life, especially on a soul level. So this could be a situation, a relationship in which whether it's business, creative or romantic, or maybe even like family or whatnot or friends, it doesn't matter. It feels like a relationship that um, hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. It feels like a relationship in which you come to a, a deeper understanding of what it is you really need. So like instead of going after for, f for material or financial reasons, instead of going after something for material or financial reasons, it feels like this situation has helped you understand what it is that would truly make you happy. Ten of Cups and Justice. I'm not I'm sorry. Well, yeah, justice, but justice was coming out before and temperance though. And then with the wheel of fortune in reverse, it just feels like you're not doing this any longer. You're not cycling through this any longer. Six of cups is at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Six of cups to the five of swords. And then we're back to justice. And what this felt like to me was someone saying this situation is better off left in the past because it's become a lose-lose situation. Nobody's winning here. And thus, justice is being served. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. I'm going to get into Oracle Guidance now. Um, and I'm being pulled to the Angel, S uh, the Angel Answers deck. So, you might have a question like in terms like saying maybe like what do I do here um you can ask that if you whatever question that you have in terms of this situation if this is resonating for you go ahead and hold that question in your mind and we'll see if we can get an answer if not just well let's just see what comes through yeah I'm gonna give this five shuffles all right one two Three, four, and five. All right, so answers, please. Spirit and angels, what closing guidance do you have for this situation? Interesting. Uh, all right, you guys, hold on. Okay. So, in terms of how to move forward, I feel like the best thing for you to do right now is to continue focusing inward, continue allowing your intuition to guide you here. But the answer is you have weight and you have opportunity. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have reconsider. 
And underneath reconsider is big happy changes. You need more information on this situation. Get more information. And that's why you're being asked to wait. Because it looks like there's going to be an opportunity coming up in this situation to... I guess I want to say squash the beef. You may not necessarily be seeing things as clearly as possible, but see, that's also a point as to why some, it feels like someone is not ex, not focusing on the external reality, on the external representation. So yes, this Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. This Queen of Pentacles is in reverse for a reason, but something is not clear about the situation. Someone may need to open up and communicate. One more pull? Okay, I'm going to get one more pull from the Angel Answers deck, yes? Last pull, please, Spirit. Last bit of guidance that you have for us in terms of this situation. Yeah. Okay, so someone may really want to get out of a situation, may really want to move forward. Um... And maybe that's coming from a place of ego, maybe. But the last thing that's come through is the same thing that I've been hearing all throughout the reading. Listen to your intuition. Somehow this is going to find some sort of peaceful resolution, but now is not the right time. You may want to just meditate on the situation at the moment. Try and keep your ego in check. Try and get, keep your mind in check, all right? But now is not the right time for this to be resolved. Um, but there is a peaceful resolution coming. There is, like, see, happy changes, all right? But you uh, reconsider. Just wait for a second. There's going to be an opportunity for this to, to, to work itself out, all right? Already? <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>